I also mentioned earlier that you can create what's called a report subscription. And this basically means you can send a configuration manager report on a predefined schedule. So perhaps your inventory manager once a month wants an updated listing of all the inventory out in the environment. That report can be delivered to his email inbox automatically without anyone having to lift a finger. It's another way the configuration manager can help streamline operations in an IT department to help IT staff focus on what's important rather than on the mundane. There are a number of different subscription options which are dependent on how your environment is configured. As things stand right now, the only option that you have is to store a report to a file that's out on a file server and then a user would pick up that report. Well, that's not very proactive. The user still has to go out and do something. Therefore, if you make a couple of settings changes, you can actually have it set up so the report is emailed to the user on a periodic schedule. And if you're using SharePoint, reports can be made available in the SharePoint environment. For Global Mantics, we're going to configure the SQL Server Reporting Services email settings and then configure a report subscription for one of our reports. To configure the SSRS email settings, we have to go to the SQL Server, so we're going to do that first. Once there, go to the Start button, All Programs, SQL Server 2008 R2, Configuration Tools, Reporting Services Configuration Manager. And simply click Connect here, and go to Email Settings. Here, we're going to call this reports at globalmantics.com. Actually, we'll call it SCCM reports. Now, you should create a corresponding email address for this on your Exchange server. That way, any replies will end up going to an actual email account. But for now, this is just going to enable the email sending option. And the SMTP server is mail.globalmantics.com. And we'll click Apply. Now, there's a dirty little secret here. These don't have to be valid options. In fact, they're not valid options in my lab. But what it does is it does enable the email service so that you can, if you wanted to test this and play with it without actually getting email, you can do so. Now, we're going to go over to the Configuration Manager console and we're going to create a report subscription. I've already taken the liberty of identifying the report that we'd like to mail once a month to the inventory manager. So we're going to right click the report, again we're in the reporting area, and we're going to choose create subscription. This is going to open the create subscription wizard as you can see, and we have a couple of options. We can have the report be delivered by Windows File Share, in which case we have to provide it with a name, a path to the file, the kind of format we'd like to use, which as you can see there's lots of different kinds of formats including PDF, username and password and confirm password. This is so that the report can actually be written to a particular location on a file share. And then you decide what you want to do. Do you want to overwrite the existing file with a, the, the new version each month? Do you want to not overwrite the existing file or increment file names as newer versions are added? We're going to do the email option because that's the one that's most useful. And we're going to send this to inman at globalmantics.com. You have CC, BCC, and reply to fields if you like. And you can set the email priority if you like. Um, you should keep it normal unless there's a reason to make it low or high. Comment, description, you can include a link to the file um, or you can include the report. So if you include a link, you can do both. Include a link and or a report. It'll just create a link to the report out on the server. If you actually include the report, It'll include the full report. Well, let's do it as a PDF file. Then we do next. And we're going to create a schedule to do it every month, every uh, the first Monday of each month. Actually, let's do it the first day. I'm sorry. And we'll have it start 6 17 p.m., 8 5 12. So this says every month, bam. On the first day of the month, we're going to send this report. And that's it. And you can see that a schedule has now been created. If we go to the properties page of the report, you'll see that there is a subscription 
with that ID right there. And if you want to modify that subscription, simply click edit and you can make any changes that you like to the subscription.